7.2 integration by parts. In this section, we will find the antiderivative where the integrand is as a product form of the two functions, as one function multiplied by the other function as a differential form. Recall in count one, when you find the derivative of the product using the product rule, for example, u times v, the derivative of it is u v prime plus u prime times v. And in the differential form, differential of u times v equals u times dv plus v times du. For the antiderivative, apply antiderivative all terms. The left hand side will be u times v equals the integral u dv plus integral v du. In our case, in this section, we are going to find or evaluate the integral of one function multiplied by the differential of the other one. Therefore, we obtain a formula as u times v minus integral v du. And this is called the integration by parts formula. For the definite integrals, we would treat the same way. In the last step, we're going to replace the lower limit and the upper limit and subtract those two real numbers to obtain the final solution. V8 or Leibniz rule. V8 would be the one that is the most common used, or you will, be, you will see it in many, many of the calculus textbooks. L I A T E, L represents the log function, I as an inverse trig function, A as an algebraic function, including polynomial, power function, and the radical form, and so forth. T represents a trigonometric function, E as an exponential function. Lipid would work the same way. Why this is a very useful tool, when you have the integration, the integrand as a product of the two functions, you identify each function as either the logarithmic function, inverse trig, algebraic function, trigonometric function, or exponential function. The upper one, the one that identify first, that would be the u. The one that lower, that is the differential v. Let's see the example. The integration of x times psi of 2x we have two functions. One is the x, the other one is the psi of 2x. Identify x as the algebraic, psi of 2x as a trig function. The one that we assign as an earlier part of the table, this is the u. The one that next down to it is dv. As we define as a differential of the v, we have to add the dx to that term. Now, as u equals x, we're going to find differential u, which is dx. For the dv, which is psi of 2x dx, we're going to find the antiderivative to find out what is the v. In this case, the integral of the psi 2x dx, we're going to use the u sub technique as let u be 2x, therefore the du is 2 dx. And then the integration becomes the integration of psi u multiplied by one half du. And we will get one half times negative cosine of the u, which is negative one half cosine of 2x as the function v. Next, back to the working area. As we use the bypass technique, the integral of the u dv equals u times v minus integral v du. The u is x, the v is negative one half cosine of two x minus the integral v, which is negative one half cosine of two x du is dx. Simplify a little bit to see one half times x times cosine of two x plus the integral factor one half out of the integration. Integrand is cosine of two x dx. And then use the u sub technique for the second part. Let u be two x 
du is 2 dx or 1 half du is dx. So this part is the integral cosine of the u multiplied by 1 half du. That becomes 1 over 4 times psi of the u, which is the quantity 2x, added by the front term, which is 1 half times x times cosine of 2x. This is the indefinite integration. So we're going to add c as a constant of integration. So that's, that's the result. This example, we're going to find the antiderivative of the log x multiplied by dx. As we see the function natural log x, the other one is not very obvious. We're going to make it as the one. When you replace or identify the type of the function, the natural log x in the category, category L or the natural log function, and the one as the algebraic. The one below, put the dx as a differential of some function. Therefore, in this case, u is log x and 1 dx is a dv. On the side note here, as u equals natural log x, we're going to find du or the differential u, which is 1 over x dx. For the dv, which is 1 dx, we're going to find the antiderivative of the differential v to get the v which is the antiderivative of 1 with respect to x. Therefore, we get v equals x. Now, from the integration bypass uh, formula, integral u dv equals u times v minus integral v du. The u is natural log x. The v is x minus the integral of the v, which is x. The du is 1 over x dx. Simplify and write in the appropriate form. We write x multiplied by natural log x. The integrand of the second part, x and x reduced, becomes negative integral vx or integral of the 1 dx. x natural log x minus the integral log, uh, the integral of the 1 dx that gives you the x. After you are done, you add C. So this is the solution for this problem. Or the integral of the natural log x is x times log x minus x plus C. Next example, the integral is square root x multiplied by natural log x dx. The first function is natural log x, identified as the log function. The second one is the square root of the x or the algebraic or x to the power one half. The second part here, we're going to add the x as we identify it as the d of the function v. In the prep area, u equals natural log x. The following part, du is the Differential of the log x, which is 1 over x dx. For the dv equals square root x or x to the 1 half. Find the v by antiderivative of x to the 1 half with respect to x. We put a dx here too. Equals x to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3. Bypass formula, the integral u dv equals u times v minus integral v du. The u is natural log x. The v is 2 over 3, x to the power 3 over 2, minus the integral, the v, which is 2 over 3, x to the power 3 over 2, multiplied by du which is 1 over x dx. We write the terms. So 2 over 3 x to the power 3 over 2 times natural log x. 
the coefficient negative 2 over 3 integral and we see the product of x to the power 3 over 2 1 over x mean x to the power negative first adjust the adjust the power becomes x to the power 1 over 2 with respect to x and next we find the antiderivative of x to the power 1 half we get x to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3 plus c simplify the number one more time or adjust the coefficient so 2 over 3 multiplied by x to the power 3 over 2 natural log x minus 4 over 9 x to the power 3 over 2 plus c as a result